Welcome back to my channel. Um, as promised last week, um, I promised that I'd do something um, a, a little bit different. Um, I wanted to spend uh, quite a bit more time uh, bringing you this video or creating this video. Um, just simply because there's quite a lot of detail. Um, I know I do. This is the reference photo. This is uh, Conway Castle in North Wales. You can see there's lots of uh, detail. And I know normally I do like to simplify things. So with a complicated scene like this, I am going to try my best to um, simplify as much as I can. And um, I'm carefully using um, the pencil just to um, use as a guide, um, for guidelines for where I'm going to go with the paint. I just think this is, uh, um, like I said, quite a complicated scene, but I'm going to show you how um, how I get around that and how to uh, tackle these sort of scenes. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really am taking my time. You can see just um, drawing down more than what I normally do. In fact, a lot of times I don't even use a pencil. But I think for this this sort of painting, um, it really would be um, recommended. And you can see once I've got the lines, um, I'm happy with the lines. <clears throat> once I'm happy with the lines, I do go and uh, strengthen those lines, make them a little bit darker, sort of, um, so that they're uh, so I can see where I'm going with the paints and. Uh, you can also see I'm including the uh, vehicle. There's a car on the bridge and a couple of people as well. So I want to include those. Um, there is quite a lot on this scene that I'm missing out. So it's almost, um, I'm using the reference, but it's um, a cropped version of that. So I don't need all of um, the scene. Um, it, it It is quite difficult to to uh, fit things on especially when you got a lot of detail and uh, quite I'd say quite a small piece of paper to work on this is um, an A4 in size this is um, Jackson's 140 pound cold press and I've got it taped to my board at around 40 degree angle just to uh, well it, it, it's nothing but to help with the um, video but I think I would with this scene I would rather have it more um, almost more flat maybe 10 15 degree angle um, but you know that's uh, I wanted to show you the painting process so obviously to film I have to have it at this angle so as you can see I'm using my um, hake brush to just pop down the first wash so I will be using quite a few layers and once I get this layer or maybe the next layer as well I will be swapping to my um, mop brushes and um, sort of medium rounds just for the finer detail and then I will be using um, my number two liner brush which will be quite nice uh, for the lines on the bridge so there's lots of i don't know they call them suspension bridge um with the uh, cables and wires and all the things going but that's where i'm going to use the rigger and i'm not going to use it um i'm not going to get the reference um slave to the reference in fact once once i've got this uh, pencil stage once this was complete I'm just going in and um, just literally using the reference just to look at every now and then. So I, I really, I'm not going for an exact um, copy of the photo, but um, just giving a, a nice um, impression of, uh, of the reference that I uh, took. This, this photo was took um, two weeks ago. We spent the day... Uh, we do we do really like enjoy um, going to North Wales, 
So we did the uh, Landudno Conway. Sat on the beach in Colwyn Bay, which is a really nice beach in North Wales. So it's really nice, just um, an, an hour and a half away, an hour and 40 minutes. And um, you just got some stunning sort of landscapes, some, some stunning places to visit. So let me know if you've been to Conwy, North Wales, um, and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. <laughs> just wanted to speed that um, that section of the video up uh, you don't necessarily need to see um, just filling in the details of the castle and I'm just treating all these as shapes so I'm looking at all the big shapes and going for those first and then um, using smaller brushes to go for the smaller details If you are watching this video and discovered my channel for the first time, please do um, let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all those um, who uh, kindly leave comments. And also, if you also um, if you're familiar with my channel, please do give me a thumbs up and comment. <laughs> noticed um, I did switch to a fine liner ink drawing pen um, and then also using my Tombow brush pens which are quite nice they give a nice bold uh, line and then just switch into liner brush to get some details on the bridge and 
a smaller brush to add these details to the rails. Um, so like I said, I'm not, um, I'm not going to go for an exact replica of the photograph reference that I took. Um, but just given the impression of the scene, um, I could have, um, these rails and, um, wires and all these sort of things going on the bridge, they're actually, um, a gray sort of white color. If I did have some masking fluid, then maybe it's something I could have looked at. Um, but if you're doing a scene like this and you've got lots of, uh, sort of rigor work details and lines and it could be anything from boats with all the masts and uh, such things um, you can actually simplify this by just using lines of uh, pens or uh, line of brush um, instead of going for the white the actual color you can just just go for gray lines it really doesn't make much of a difference um, but yeah, that's that's how I've uh, tackled this. It just would have taken too... It would have been too difficult, too complicated. And um, like I said, I don't have any masking fluid. So I've uh, used this approach and I think it, it does work. You know, you can tell what's going on, I hope. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how I'm doing this scene. So if you are doing a complicated scene... Um, just try and look at the big shapes, uh, fill in what you can first off with the big shapes and then work into the smaller details as you progress through the painting. I'm working in layers so you can see just going over parts of the castle. It was quite a sunlit day and the sun was behind the castle. So in the actual reference, there's lots of silhouetted shapes. Um, really hard to see details and um, not a lot of details with the shadows. Um, the only details I think were the um, sort of details on the bridge. A lot of stuff were blacked out, but um, this is how I'm tackling this subject. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this one um, and if you are thinking of tackling a complicated um, scene to paint and just try and simplify wherever you can 
Uh, you don't have to be exact. You don't have to uh, copy everything if you're using the reference photo. Um, but just give the impression of the overall painting or the overall scene. And I hope um, I hope you enjoy this one. And please do give me a comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel to grow. Just removing the uh, masking tape. And that's pretty much it for this week. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good week. And I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.